Man, that's good to load so bad. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Ah! Hi guys and welcome back to Wako's Review. Guess what? I now have a new channel. Start dancing. But on the side, this channel is still there for sure, but with the new channel, I'll be able to make more videos and post more random things that I like. So yeah, the link to the channel is in the description and also the first pinned comment if you are too lazy to like be reading the description. And I doubt I'll get a thousand subscribers. I, I doubt. <laughs> I'm using style to tell you guys to subscribe. Okay, rolling through. my life I have always told myself that for me to be truly happy I needed the money and the attention from women. I was wrong. True happiness, true happiness guys comes from my queen Jasmine Bang. One character that everyone keeps caring about because they know if what happened to him happened to them they won't be able to survive it. His style. He came back home after seeing his friends and then called Tiara and got no reply. Tiara. I'm doing that um, silence bed. And when he got no reply, he then called her dad and he did what every dismissive dad does in times like this. They dismiss. Uh, good evening, sir. Tiara and I had a fight. And I was wondering if... Stop calling me. See, my daughter is now your responsibility. Like, I know I'm her father. Eh? <laughs> But you know I'm a man now, I'm a man, I, you know how men are, yeah, yeah. That was me, Lion, it was me. Stop calling me, please. Tiara then came and gave him 100k and told him that because I took 600,000 to buy two gowns, is that why you will insult me? I will pay you your 500k. Later, Sha, no now, please don't even bother me now. I love how she said here yeah, that she was a sports child, like that's an excuse for theft. I'm not treating you like a person. You have been irresponsible with the money that I worked hard for. I get it, I'm sports. What? Bro, what are you talking about? Then after Tyo still had to beg, because that's what men do. We always beg. You need to change that process. But it was too late because she was already set to leave him, saying she needs to find herself in her father's house. And when she figures herself out, she would let him know. But knowing this babe, she will never figure herself out. <laughs> Louis by far had the shortest screen time in this episode, so we would rush his part. He was with his team. I'm talking about Athos, Potos, and Dongis. Us. Don't give us, don't us, dumb, dumb us. His friend then told him that Lola called him her husband when she was shouting at the police station in the previous episode. So you know he would tease her on it. And tease her, he did. He teased her so much that she was teased by tease, tease, teaser. You are the one that subscribed to this channel. I do not force you. So anything I say, it's your business. Larry's first thing was him hugging his mom so passionately that Tayo, with his empty account and a lot of worries, could sense the tension in the room. He then took her to a hotel room and they spoke on a lot, but we will fast forward a little to get to the reason why he's here. So fast forward this whole character development. Fast forward, all we care about is the knacking, guys. Go straight to the knacking. That's all we care about. Oh. Oh, oh, hey, now this is why we're here. Go on, go on. Okay, I'm kidding. What she said was, I was Lola's father's mistress, and because of that, my family disowned me. And I think over the years of crashing countless marriages as a mistress, I know I indirectly injected the mistress blood in my daughter. That's why no matter what she does, she will always be a mistress. And after doing the do mountain deal, he came back home to noise. <laughs> His mom insulted him and told him he can't have more than one mommy. And she added that the girl from Ibadan is coming soon and he must marry her. And he actually said a lot here that explains Larry in the best possible way. And I am happy they added this scene. He said he doesn't want to get married and he doesn't actually want kids. And that explains a lot. He doesn't want kids because he is a kid in the eyes of all those women. And that's all that happened to him, I guess. You know what? Maybe after this, we could go out to the movies or something. My goodness, how can a character be so daft? Dungus, the meaning of Dungus is D, dumb, you, 
Angus. In the last review, I said this. Aminu then saw his ex to Minu when she was going to church, and I want to apologize to. Absolutely nobody. Okay, see, I know it's called branding, and I respect that. But come on, guys, it's normal that when girls go to church, they wear heels so they can step on the necks of everyone looking at them. But after church, they normally change to their slippers or flat shoes. And guess where the heels go into? You guessed right. This bag. That's what I was saying last in the last review that nobody even cared about. Then she met Amino and after they looked at each other for a solid 8 minutes, Pastor Yumeka was worried and was like, what's going on? Take my heels home. She quickly ran away and at first Aminu did not want to chase her but thanks to his friends for slapping sense into his head, he went after her. Then he made the wise decision to use his car because he thought of it that if he's to see her on the road, he would quickly want to run her over. <laughs> I should have written this show. It would have been, it would, oh my god, it's, oh, it would be, oh, it would be awesome, man. Eh? He caught up to her and they went somewhere to talk and as soon as she said that he could sense the attitude, the aura, the attitude aura coming out from her body. Girls usually love this part where the guy is apologetic and they give him attitude. They, they love this moment. But Aminu could hold his own well actually. He said things that only people with money can say. It's your lunch time too many and I know you want something to eat so let me... Are you stalking me now? How do you know it's my lunch time? Yes I am. What? Every day. Do you guys think with my YouTube channel I can say that to any girl and not expect her to slap the living day out of me? Tumino then said that she did not cheat on him and she swore with her life and Aminu kept on having this prideful attitude and this vexed almost all the viewers and I wasn't shocked. I have clowned this guy all season long and you guys were everywhere saying Prince you are wrong, Prince you are wrong, Aminu is a good guy, Aminu. Now who is laughing? Who is laughing? You guys are trying to join me? You can't. It's only me and Jasmine on this high table man. It's only me and Jasmine. You guys don't care about me. You guys keep coming back here what? For what? To laugh? Because you do subscribe to my new channel. How did, I, how did I put my new channel into that? I don't know, I don't know. But this conversation took so many turns, and at the point it looked like she forgave him. Then she was angry and shouting. Then she was like, bye. Aminu came back home and started shouting on my queen. Dummy. He then started questioning her because he had his doubts now that if the child is his own. And trust the main character, the main reason I breathe, the main reason we are here, the main reason you are watching this video, the main reason I'm still viewing this show. Trust her to have a backup plan. No, let's be real. Let's think about it. You are the one who is causing problems for me. I mean, you've made me a single mom. Where do you want me to start from? Yes, queen. <laughs> yes. At the end of the episode, Tony comes back to Lewis's home and sees him kissing Lola and in the most creepiest way said I would give almost anything if you hold me that way again. Where do? Weirdo, you're a psycho. I am a psycho. But with her coming to his home, Lola then saw that she was pregnant for Lewis. And all that went through Lola's mind was all this happened because of my mom gave me the mistress blood. My expectations are simple as usual. He will get broke, and I'm begging someone in the comment section please bet with me. Please bet with me. 500k, anyone. I don't have 500k, but you can bet. And if I win, I take yours. If you win, I don't know, I'll take your steal, I'll steal from you, I don't care. Tonya will kill for sure, and I'm being serious. She has given so many signs now that she's going to kill somebody. After she said that thing, she's going to kill someone. What are your expectations? Drop it down below. And yeah, will we ever see Pastor Mika again? I be repping for my city though, and I got fans up in Philly though. See, I be born till I'm feeling though. The money calling and I'm picking though. Too much money, so I blow it up, and this is a fantasy growing Thank up. Thank you guys for watching. Guys, I started a new channel. I hope the audio is good. That's my biggest problem. But I started a new channel, and the main reason I started this new channel is because I want to be more experimental. I want to post things that I won't likely post here, but just random videos. And I know I made jokes about it earlier, and I told people to subscribe, but I only want people who care about like the kind of videos that I make, because um, at the end, that's all that matters. I don't want people that will just come and disappear after maybe like two, three videos. Even though they will still, I don't even know. <laughs> Well, yeah, it'll be fun for you to subscribe only if you are willing to maybe like turn on post notification and watch the videos I post. If you are not, then there's no problem. You can stay here. It's all good. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I don't actually have a question of the day. Um, 
Not the question of the day, to be honest. Oh, yeah, do you like dogs? Because I hate dogs. That is the question of the day. Not like I hate them. Anytime I talk, I find them cute. When I touch them, their body used to do me like, are they okay? I'm always concerned. Are you, are you guys really okay? Well, yeah. Tell me if you like dogs in the comment section. Subscribe to my new channel. Turn on post notification. Yeah, let's get to 1K, I guess. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch ourselves on the next one. Bye. Caught up with the gang. How you trying to make me a million cash? Ain't trying to go to the bank. Wait, don't get caught up with the gang. Don't get caught up with the gang.